welcome back to my channel my name is Blair and today we're gonna do a bake with me um, we're gonna make a small batch of carrot cake cupcakes for Easter um, I know this is going up on Easter but maybe if you need to make them last minute I pretty much had all these ingredients in my house except for the carrot um, which I picked up in groceries this morning <laughs> But it is a pretty simple recipe and it only makes four cupcakes, which is perfect if it's just a solo person or even if you just have one or two people. So let's get started with baking and I'll show you how to do it. So to get started, we're gonna preheat the oven to 350. And I already prepped these, but you wanna get your pan ready with either cupcake liner, spray them, or I use parchment paper. So I've prepped up all the ingredients, so I just thought I'd share, but this is a small batch, so there's obviously not like a ton um, starting back here, we have flour, salt, and baking powder. And then I have vegetable oil, white sugar, brown sugar. And then for your seasonings, there's ginger, cinnamon, and a tiny bit of nutmeg. You need a half a cup of carrots that have been grated. I did it on the side of this cheese grater. Uh, vanilla and one egg. So to start in a medium bowl, we're going to put together our dry ingredients, so the flour, salt, and baking powder, as well as your spices, which again was cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. We're going to whisk this together till it's all blended quite well. bottom you want to create a little well where we're going to actually add in the wet ingredients here in a minute. So in the little well that you created you're going to add your egg, the sugars, and the vegetable oil. fork you want to mix together everything till it's starting to get smooth and then you're going to add your vanilla extract and continue to mix until very smooth Once the mixture is smooth, we're going to add in our carrots and you'll fold these in until it's combined. Don't overdo it, but just till it's blended well. Fill each of our liners with three-fourths full of the batter mix and this should be exact for four Then we're gonna bake these. It's said to do 15 to 17 minutes. I will say it took about 20 in my oven. Basically, when you take them out, you should be able to insert a toothpick and pull it out clean to know it's been baked all the way through. So now that the cupcakes are fully cooled, I moved them to this um, turntable thing but we're gonna ice them. So I bought the Duncan Hines whipped cream cheese cause it's gonna be easier to navigate. But I'm gonna show you a way to ice with, make it look more put together um, if you don't have like an icing bag and tips. Um, I use a Ziploc bag. You're gonna need a spatula to fill it. 
scissor to cut the tip off at the end. And then I grabbed out one of these glasses to put the bag in while you're filling it. Just makes it easier. So for this trick, you're gonna open up the Ziploc bag and I put it inside a glass so it would stand upright. It's just easier to fill that way. And then you can also fold the sides down over the edge of the cup to keep them clean. Then using the spatula, you're gonna spoon in um, however much you think you might need. I wouldn't overdo it, you don't wanna fill the bag entirely full. Then you're gonna close your Ziploc bag, trying to take out most of the air. And from here, you're gonna cut the clean corner, the tip off of it. Don't make this too big. You wanna keep it rather small so it's easier to control what's coming out. And then you'll just kind of work the icing down to that corner. And then this way you just hold the end of the bag and you're able to squeeze out the icing and have a little more control over how you're doing it. Normally this would come out a little smoother I think with regular cupcake liners but because I used parchment paper it was kind of jagged and not smooth edged. But they still came out looking really nice. there you have it small batch carrot cake cupcakes i would taste test them for you but these are for easter tomorrow for me and a few friends so i'm taking them with me um but i'm pretty sure they're good i tasted a little bit of the batter on my finger and it wasn't bad so i hope you enjoyed as always i hope everybody has a blessed day